Welcome to Electra Online. Our next problem is going to be the first of several problems dealing with the exact same situation. We have a ring which contains one spoke and the spoke at one end is attached to the point of rotation. Some steering wheels of cars are built like that. And so, but here, this is not a steering wheel of a car. This is a, a free rotating ring, which is in this particular situation. And notice that the weight of the wheel is 10 newtons, the weight of the spoke is 10 newtons, and the radius is one meter. The first thing we're going to do of several things, but that's going to come in subsequent videos, here we're going to first calculate the moment of inertia of that particular object. So that means that the, mo the moment of inertia is going to be equal to the moment of inertia of the wheel plus the moment of inertia of the spoke. And so the moment of inertia of the wheel, well, since all of the masses of the distance are away from the center of rotation, that would then be equal to mr squared. And the moment of inertia of the spoke, it would be a long bar that's rotating about the end, which is one-third ml squared. So it would be one-third ml squared. Now, of course, in this case, the length of the bar is equal to the radius of the wheel, so l equals r which means that the moment of inertia is mr squared plus one-third mr squared. So that means we have one plus a third, or three-thirds mr squared plus one-third mr squared, which means that this is four-thirds mr squared. So that would be the moment of inertia of that. But of course, since we're given the weight, and we're given the radius, we should be able to find the numerical value. First of all, m, the mass, is equal to the weight mg divided by g. So in this case, that would be 10 newtons divided by 9.8 meters per second squared. So that would be the value for m, and r is 1. So we have i is equal to 4 thirds times the mass, which would be 10 divided by 9.8, and we multiply times the radius squared, which is 1 squared, so the moment of inertia, and of course the units for moment of inertia are kilograms meters squared, so now with a calculator, we get uh, 40 divided by 3 divided by 9.8 equals, so we get 1.36 kilogram meter squared for the first answer for the first part of this problem. So stay tuned if you want to see the rest of the problem with the wheel and the spoke. And that is how it's done.